gone psycho Lil' mama bad like Michael Can't really trust nobody With all this jewelry on you My roof look like a no-show Got diamonds by the pole What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. And it, ooh, I feel like these lashes are weighing my eye, <laughs> my eyelids down. But what's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I got in my Ipsy Glam bag this month. I've already opened it. I feel kind of played by Ipsy to say the least, but I'll tell you why here in a second. So let's go ahead and get into this. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. So, <laughs> so for the month of November, which is my birthday month, this is the bag for this month. This is the glam bag or the actual bag for this month. Now let's, I think they do this on all their glam bags, but they have, I don't know if it'll focus on this, but it has like Ipsy on the little zipper part. You know, it, it comes with the little card thing. It doesn't tell you what's in the bag, but it has other stuff on there that I don't really care about, to be honest. So first and foremost, I got this moist, this moisture rich hydrating balm and uh, it's a peppermint balm and it's from Jersey Shore Cosmetics. Now when I saw this, I didn't know if it's like actual Jersey Shore like the show, which I love the show and I kind of grew up watching the show a little bit. But I have been using this. I used it once or twice and when I tell you it leaves your lips so hydrated and soft, I really love this. And it smells like peppermint. It doesn't taste like peppermint, but it smells like peppermint. So I actually like this and I'm going to be using this just like in my last Ipsy Glam bag video from last month. I'm going to have the retail price of everything on the screen that way if you're interested because you know it helps to know the price of stuff before you just go out and try to buy it. Next, I actually got all makeup this month which I'm surprised at because last month I didn't. This is a cream to powder eyeshadow from Helios. H-E-L-I-O-S so it comes in a single shadow and it looks like this which this is a pretty color this is right up my alley and the name of this eyeshadow shade is I only fly in first so like I only fly in first class I guess Let's see if I can get this open Here we go. So this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me almost of like a ColourPop single eyeshadow. Hold on, let me get one. It reminds me of the ColourPop eyeshadow a little bit. This is a ColourPop Super Shock pressed pigment in the color Fantasy, if you're wondering. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. It's not the exact same. This is like darker and I don't think as metallic, but yeah. This one is slightly smaller than the ColourPop. It was just interesting to me. I'm gonna do a little swatch. I haven't swatched this yet, so. And just a heads up, swatches, like finger swatches, you can never tell by just a swatch. It all, it only matters how it performs on the eye, so. Ooh. That's pretty and it's very like smooth and creamy. I just might have to use this in a makeup tutorial. So far I like this too. I'm gonna do a tutorial with it and see how it performs on the eye, but so far I like this. Next, okay. There was a lot of controversy with this on the Ipsy website because Ipsy, they have it to where they'll tell you early, like before they ship it or whatever, they'll send you an email telling you what's in your glam bag this month. and. You can leave reviews on the Ipsy website of the products you get and everything. And I saw people on the website going ham because they offered a sample of this, which is the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. Problem a lot of people have with this is they only offered it in two shades and both of them were for people of color. It was only two shades, so a lot of people were complaining like, I'm not gonna be able to use this because you know it's not my skin tone it's not even like 
this looks like it may be like a little too light for me i could possibly use this like concealer wise but somebody who has fairer skin than me they oops they wouldn't be able to use this at all so they kind of lost out on a product for the month so i could understand how they'd be pissed about that it was a lot of people that were pissed about that but i haven't had a chance to try this foundation and it actually looks like it's a decent match for me because the foundation and the stuff i have on today like the mixture of the concealers and stuff i don't like it too much because i'm looking a little red this looks like i could find some type of use for this i don't know how but um yeah so i will also test this out in a future video but yeah this is in the shade y505 a lot of controversy over that i thought they were gonna play me i haven't tried it on my face yet but i still feel played because it's like i will feel some type of way if they only offered two shades and it was shades that could only cater to fairer people with fairer skin so i could understand how people were upset and if the tables were turned i would be upset so ipsy if you're gonna do stuff like that just a heads up if you're gonna do stuff like that in the future make sure that you offer more than two shades like do something to where you could like offer samples in a shade range maybe like i don't get why you only offer two shades it's like if you can't offer it for different shades of people who you know buy this glam bag and stuff and have a subscription to ipsy if you can't get it in different shades to people then just don't do it at all next this bonnie Luminizer liquid bonnie luminizer this is a liquid highlighter from the bomb yeah but it's it's like a gold -ish shade which is kind of like the highlights i typically go for cater like that i don't know how i feel about that i don't know if it comes on an applicator like this because it's a sample or if the real like actual full size has this applicator but i don't know how i feel about an applicator like this for a highlight going to oh wow she did not come to play it's definitely pretty i just with highlights i don't like my highlight to look like super ashy even like what i have on now is i try my best to kind of simmer that down a little bit because it was looking super ashy and it's still looking a little too ashy for my liking it looks pretty i would have to try it on the face and hope that it doesn't like give me that ash and last but not least i've been contemplating on whether or not i want to purchase something from this brand <laughs> because of past events this is actually a full size product my first full size product from ipsy and this is the huda beauty lip strobe and they offered this in four different shades and so i was hoping that i i think this is the shade i wanted uh this is in the shade shameless i do have like some lip balm on my lips so i don't know if i'm gonna try this yet it looked a different color like it has a bunch of glitter and stuff like in the camera now it looks like it's like a dark kind of like a uh, almost kind of like the shade of this eyeshadow just a little bit lighter perhaps like when i do like this it looks like that shade when I move it like that it looks lighter so and just looking at it it doesn't pick it up on screen but looking at it now it looks like gold that smells good <laughs> it smells like vanilla oh I love makeup that just smells good where can I swatch this at let's see what she looks like I guess it's supposed to be like a lip topper I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is supposed to be like I'm going to try it on my lips because I'm curious. I'm just curious and I want to try it. The applicator is bent. I'm not sure if it comes like that on purpose. It smells so good. On top of this lip uh, stain that I put on earlier, it looks really pretty. Okay, so my camera cut off, but I finished putting uh, this lip strobe on and i really like this like i actually really like it it's not sticky because you know how you have those glosses to where it's like either super thick or super thick and when you like do like that your lips stick together it doesn't do that it smells good i'm shocked i didn't think i would like this color but it's really pretty like i feel like the camera's not doing this justice oh my gosh i love this i really do can you shut up but yeah that's what i got in my ipsy glam bag this month overall 
I would say it's pretty good. I think it's better than last month's, in my opinion. I think it's better for me. Overall, me personally, um, I'm very happy this month. I'm happier than I was last month because I was like the main reason I signed up for Ipsy was for makeup. Because, you know, if you're subscribed to my channel, you will know that I'm very... I do a lot of makeup things. Like, I do other videos, but I do a lot of makeup oriented videos on my channel as well if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know down in the comments below if you got an ipsy glam bag this month if you did then what did you get in your bag and how did you feel about what you got in your bag did you like it did you not like it and tell me why yeah but thank you so much for watching keep a look out for this makeup tutorial give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching y'all